Hello everyone, welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We're Tom and Melissa, and we're really happy that you've come by to sit at the table with us today. A few weeks ago, actually it's probably been a month or so ago, we did a video on corn dip. And that was a recipe that had been sent in to us from a subscriber named Randa Fuller in Texas. And when we put that video on, Melissa and I had the idea to do a Subscriber Sunday series and ask our subscribers if they would want to send in recipes for us to use on our channel. We thought we might be able to get enough to do one on Sunday for a few weeks, but we have had an overwhelming response. We have gotten dozens of recipes. So we intend from today through the next couple of months at least, maybe longer, that every Sunday we will do a recipe that was sent in from one of our subscribers. That's why we're calling it Subscriber Sunday Series. Now today we're going to do a recipe that came to us from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. The letter that came with it says... Tom and Melissa, my wife and I enjoy watching your videos. A while ago, you mentioned you would like viewers to send you their favorite recipes. Enclosed is my mother-in-law's recipe for O. Henry bars. The recipe is at least 50 years old. They are chocolate and peanut butter bars. They are delicious. And it's signed, Dan and Jill Saxton. Ooh, they're kind of stuck together there. So Dan and Jill, we are using your recipe today. Now, I can tell you just from looking at this that this is a well-loved recipe. You can see on here that this is a recipe that's probably been cut out of a magazine or a newspaper or, I don't know, out of some kind of a publication. And that has been kept for a long time. Well, the letter says over 50 years. You can see that it's been taped. So it's probably taped into a notebook. Somebody probably had a recipe notebook where they kept recipes they love, and this one was added. That's how you know that a recipe is good. Somebody loved this enough to take care of it for 50 years. So today, we're going to make Dan and Jill's mother, well, Dan's mother-in-law's O. Henry bars. Now, I have heard of O. Henry candy bars, but I've never seen a recipe for O. Henry bars. And I'm not really sure if these are the same as O. Henry candy bars or if it's something totally different because I've never really had one. But we're going to make it today, and I'm going to tell you, I, I can't imagine it's not delicious because everything in here sounds wonderful. So, let's get started. Let's talk about what we're going to use today to make O. Henry bars. We're going to use two-thirds cup margarine. It says margarine, but I'm actually using butter. We don't have margarine. And two-thirds of a cup is actually 11 tablespoons. So, you're going to need a whole stick plus three more tablespoons of butter or margarine if that's what you want to use. Now, I have already melted our margarine, so we could go ahead and get started on this recipe. Butter. Butter. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I've melted our butter. The next thing you're going to need is four cups of oats, and we're just using Quaker one-minute oats. Four cups of that. You need one cup of light brown sugar. Now, it did not say packed brown sugar, so I did not pack it in there. I just spooned it in lightly and kind of took a knife and swiped across the top to level it off. So it's lightly packed. You're also going to use two teaspoons of vanilla, one half cup Cairo syrup, and it says you can use light or dark. I prefer light in most things unless it specifies dark, so I'm using light today, but you can use either or. And then for our topping, after the bars have baked, we're going to use 
one cup of milk chocolate chips and two thirds cup of peanut butter. And of course you can use your favorite variety. Melissa and I love Jif. So that's what we're using today, but you use whatever it is you use at your home. Okay, so we already have the butter melted. We're just going to stir into the butter the oats, the brown sugar, two teaspoons of the vanilla. There's one and two. Okay. And our light corn syrup. I know there are people that don't like using corn syrup, but you know, it's not something that we use every day. We only use it occasionally for special dishes. So you'll be all right. I have had, well, actually I only remember one, but I did have somebody who left a message and fussed at us over using light corn syrup. <laughs> And if you don't want to use it, then that is certainly your prerogative. But we're going to because this sounds really good. Now, all we have to do is stir this together and press it into a 9 by 13 pan that has been sprayed. And I did spray it well because using corn syrup means that it's going to be sticky. So... I wanted to make sure it was well sprayed. And I have preheated our oven to 350 degrees. So make sure you have your oven heated and ready to go. And we just wanna make sure that this is completely combined. We don't want any dry oats in there. We'll make sure it's mixed up really well. Make sure you scrape all the way down to the bottom. I see some corn syrup laying down there in the bottom, so I've got to get that mixed in. We don't want to miss that. Okay. I'll take my spatula and scrape out my spoon because we want that mixed in too. Are you playing with the recipe, babe? Well, I was trying to move it out of your way so you wanted to put the bowl <laughs> over here, but. Yeah. You didn't want me to get the corn syrup on my recipe, did you? Nope. I knew what you were doing. Okay. I just want to make sure it's mixed really well because I don't want any dry spots. Okay, now we're going to take our baking dish and put this in the bottom. And the recipe says to bake this at 350 for 12 minutes. And I believe it says, let me look to make sure, I think it says when it comes out, it will be bubbly. Let's see. Mixture will be bubbly when removed. So it's going to really cook this when it's in there. Now, I don't know that I've ever had an O'Henry bar. Have you, Melissa? It's been a really long time. I kind of think that my grandfather, my papa, liked them. Really? I th yeah. I, I mean, it's that's an old, old recipe and an old, old candy bar, I think. Hmm. Well, I did not know that. If you had told me that, I really would have been interested in making this. Since your grandfather loved them. Now, I'm just going to use the bottom of my measuring cup to kind of pack this down. I'm not packing it really tight, but I just want to make sure that it's packed down in there and that it bakes together. I want it to be nice and flat. So I'm just going to pack it in a little bit. And if you don't want to use the bottom of your cup, you can use your hand or whatever. In fact, maybe I should just do that. Get around these edges. Put that down in there a little bit. Okay. All right, now we're going to go in the oven, 350 for 12 minutes, let these bake. And when they come out, we have to let them cool completely 
before we can put the topping on. And the topping is just peanut butter and chocolate melted together. So we're going to put these in, let them bake, take them out and let them cool before we come back and let you see them. But once they're cool, we'll come back and let you help us get the chocolate and peanut butter melted and put on top of them. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. The base for the bars has cooled and now we're going to make the topping. So all we have to do is take the cup of chocolate chips, get those in. Did I just drop one? Mm -hmm. I did. Oh, I don't know. I missed it if you did. <laughs> I thought I did. I was going to say, oh, I've wasted a chocolate chip. That's terrible. Okay. Take our peanut butter and put that right in. Well, okay. I'll waste that right there. Okay, so let's get this in the microwave. We will get that melted. I'll do about 30 seconds at a time. And let that melt. We'll stir that together. Now, while that's melting, let me tell you that we, can, we intend to continue doing the Subscriber Sunday series. So if you would like to send us a recipe or more than one recipe, whatever you want, we would love to have those. If you will go right below this video, you will see a little box that has the title of this recipe. It will say, O. Henry Bars. If you click in that box, you will find the recipe for this, the written recipe for these bars. And right under that written recipe, you will see our contact information, our post office box and whatever. All right, I'm just gonna stir this together. And you are welcome to send us your recipes that are tried and true. We want things that you know for sure people will love. We don't want to get on here and make a recipe that you've not made and you don't love. You can see that the chips are melting pretty well. I believe this is going to need just a few more seconds. So let me just pop this right back in there. We'll go just another few seconds to get that. So if you'll go below the video and click on that box, you'll find our contact information and you can send us the recipes that you have that you would like for us to possibly use. We would love to receive those. While you're doing that, if you'll go right below the video and click that thumbs up button that just says you liked our video and that helps us get our video shared even more. That's how YouTube knows that people like it and they will share it even more. Right over on the other side below the video, there is a subscribe button. If you've never clicked it before, we sure would appreciate you clicking it and subscribing to our channel. Yum. Look at this. That this looks is, so good. This is not what I remember from the candy bar, so maybe that's not what it's a play on. Um, I, can you even get these candy bars anymore? I have no clue, babe. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a long, long time. I had not really even thought about it until we got this recipe. I, I don't know. Now, I'm just going to use the back of my spoon to spread the chocolate. And make sure we get it all the way to the edge. So we'll just spread it over. Man, this smells so good. Okay, let me turn this around. Now we have one more step. We have to let this chocolate set up. So we're going to stick this in the refrigerator. We will let it chill for just a few minutes. It shouldn't take long. It should set up pretty quickly. 
So we will do that. And as soon as this chocolate and peanut butter topping has set up, we will be back and taste this and let you all see what they look like. So we'll be back in just a minute. Our O. Henry bars are out of the refrigerator and I'm ready to cut these and try one. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm not sure it's completely set up, but I'm ready to try one anyway. So I'm going to cut them and see if I can get one of them out of here. Now we always know, everybody knows, the first one's always the hardest to get out. So if I make a mess of it, that's okay. It'll still be good. Yum. Chocolate and peanut butter. How can that be bad? Hey, that came out really easily. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at this. Doesn't that look good? Look nice. Dan, Jill, thank you so much for this recipe. We do appreciate that you sent this to us. And Jill's mother. And Jill's mom, right. Saving it all those years ago. Wow. What an awesome thing to do. You going to take the first bite, babe? Sure. Okay. I'll give you a little bite. A little princess bite. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my. They remind me and taste a little bit of like a no-bake cookie. I guess because of the oatmeal. The oatmeal and the chocolate. Mm-hmm. They're really mm. good. Oh, my. These could be addictive. I could eat that whole pan. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. That's the kind of recipe we like for people to send. That's excellent. And that's so easy. All right. Wow. Dan and Jill, thank you again. That's awesome. Really good. We do appreciate all of you watching our videos. We appreciate the kind comments you make below our videos. If you want to leave a comment, feel free to do that. We do appreciate you. And we want you to remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day and get ready because next Sunday will be subscriber number Sunday, <laughs> subscriber Sunday series number two. I'll say that five times real fast. Yeah. So come back next Sunday for number two. We'll see you then.